today we are doing another slime video and basically we're going to be comparing activators for which is better for clear Elmer's glue. Is it laundry detergent, borax, or saline solution? And so we're just going to start out with laundry detergent. So on to the video. Now you say it. Okay, so now we have our glue in the bowl, and we're just gonna add a little bit of water. And what is that for? Um, just to add mass, I guess. And then mix, 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 mix. So explain why we, why are we doing this? Why are you doing this? Cat hair on me. Um, we're doing this because I've seen lots of videos comparing um activators, and what that is is they compare like different brands of laundry detergent. But this is the three most used activators comparison. So, so what kind of laundry detergent do we have? Is this that... is Arm and Hammer. Arm and Hammer. Okay. So we're just gonna start up adding this and cue the sped up and music. This. It's not working. It's not working, guys. It's not working. Okay, so this is not working, and I don't know why, because I use this for my white glue all the time. Ah, so clear glue might have something to do with it? Okay, so this is the Arm & Hammer. This is what happens when you use clear glue and Arm & Hammer. So, real quick, we're just going to put in some borax. and. Well, so just leave it like that for now. Okay, and then, you can then fix it later. I'll, I'll fix it after. Okay, just put a tiny bit of water. It also makes it stretchier when you add water, so sorry for the beeping in the background. Okay, so now we're onto borax, and we all know that borax works. So let me just shake it up. Shake, shake, shakey, shake, shake, shakey. Okay. <laughs> it's cold season. We are all sick. Okay. See, so you can see it coming together. Mm hmm And I'm not gonna try that hard to not get bubbles in it because it's okay, it'll just clear out. Okay, so guys, this is definitely working. And usually I use borax for my clear slimes, so. Now we know why. Yeah, because it works the best. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my hands. It's still a little bit sticky. We'll be back. Okay, so here's the slime. And it's really stretchy. <laughs> And it still needs to be kneaded a little more, and then it'll be even more stretchy, as you can tell. And let me just knead it some, and then you, it'll be clear. It's just not kneaded enough to be able to stretch it. And stretch make it, it yeah. So we'll be back when it's kneaded. Okay, so I have all the little fibers mixed in. So now. You can see it's clear, but it's still kind of bubbly. So um, we should, we might do a checkup where we show you them after they're not bubbly anymore. So on to the next one. Okay, so I added water, just like I've added water to all the other ones. And now we're doing contact lens solution. And if you don't know to like activate the contact lens solution or something, you need to add baking soda. So get a pinch of baking soda. and then you like mix it in until it's dissolved. I've only made saline solution slime once. And Is that the one at Michael's? Or you made it here? I made it here. That, I didn't make the one at Michael's. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Michael's had like a workshop thing that we went to. Okay, so I mixed in the baking soda. Now I'm gonna add this. And I'm pretty sure this is the saline solution. It's contact 
blend solution, whatever that is. Oh no, it's working! Okay. Multi-purpose. Do you see guys, it's clumping up. Add some more. Sorry if you hear me sniffling, guys. I'm a little bit sick. So this one is like really nice, it seems so far. It's a lot. It's sticky. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my hands. Oh, I don't know if I should make that mistake again, actually. Because last time I had to go wash my hands. Looks good. It doesn't. stretchy. You don't need to knead it to get the fibers out. <laughs> so That yeah. would make a pretty glitter sign. Oh, it would. I'm going to definitely add glitter to some of these slimes. Probably the this one or the borax one. So this one is good. It's not that stretchy, but like it is if you stretch it slowly. But it's definitely, if you compare... It has a lot less bubbles than the borax one. So, this one is really good. And so, be right back. Okay guys, so we are back and I fixed up the laundry detergent slime. And so now we're kind of just gonna rate them um, on pokiness, stretchiness, and overall. So, for this one, um, I don't know what happened. Comment down below if you know what happened. I didn't overactivate it, but it like doesn't stretch. It like doesn't stick back you together. You added some uh, borax solution to yeah. that one to the laundry detergent slime. It, it doesn't poke. still didn't really do anything. So mm. all in all, guys, don't use our oxen oxen hammer, army hammer, army hammer, army oxen hammer, o no army hammer. Okay. Um, on clear slime because you will get this. Actually, you won't get this. <laughs> You'll get liquid. Don't add borax after. So, that I gonna rate this an F. Got it. Out of 10. Okay, next we did the borax. And this one is probably my favorite because it's really stretchy and then it's really clear. And then also it has really nice poking. Definitely makes pokey sounds. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Very good. And then here's the contact lens solution one. This one is definitely clearer than the borax, but it's like not as stretchy. But if you stretch it, um, if you stretch it slowly, it's really clear. Mm-hmm. So this one, um, so yeah, it's you not, didn't do the pokiness. Oh right, it's not that stretchy as you can see. Not really very pokey either. Yeah, so I'm gonna <laughs> give it a. I don't know. It's still fun to play with because it's more like a putty. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Okay. So. Thanks for watching guys. Comment down below if you would like a part two using white glue or different activators. And also comment down below if you know what, what happened, happened to this. What happened? Yeah. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Peace out.